Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to convert a drummer track into a MIDI track. The first thing that you need to do is create a drummer track. You click on the plus sign, drummer, and then create. And now you can select your drum pattern by changing the location of the yellow cursor. I'm just going to delete the track because I've already created one. Now you need to create a software instrument. You click on the plus sign, software instrument, and then create. And now you can select the drum kit of your choice. I'm going to go under electronic drum kit and click on trapdoor. Now I'm going to select the drummer track, right click and click on copy. Click on my MIDI track and then right click paste. And now I have the drummer pattern converted into a MIDI track. So let's listen to the drum track first. And now let's listen to the MIDI region. This technique is very cool because you can create new sound if you want to. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to create a custom drum kit with the AU sampler. So I'll click right here. Nope. AU sampler, stereo. And then I'm going to open a drum kit. Now what I can do is copy the MIDI section that I just created and then paste it into my custom drum kit. Now let's listen to it. Okay, it sounds a bit chaotic, but you could change the sound if you wanted to. So I'm going to go under the smart control, click on the AU sampler, and I'm going to open the MIDI editor just to see which note correspond to which. So if I click on the kick, so the C1 is here. Have you just noticed something? You might have noticed it too. Uh, the C2 is kind of the equivalent of the C3 for some reason that I don't understand, but you can take that in consideration and, and just switch it up. So for example, the C0, the C1, I presume, is the C2. So I could change the kick to C2. And now the C1 is the kick, just because, I don't know, for some reason, uh, GarageBand doesn't make the right association, but you know, you work with the mistakes, I guess. And I'm going to take the kick and move it to here, which is next to the C2, uh, take the snare, drag it, and now I'm just going to remove this note, it's annoying. So now you have a new drum pattern that has been created. So you can use this technique to create new sounds. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. If you have any suggestions, please leave them inside of the comment section and I'll see you in another video. Bye.